After the escalation of the tariff war between China and the U.S., their technological conflict intensified as well. The Trump administration ordered stricter export controls on NVIDIA chips. Even the previously supplied versions now require export licenses. When the news broke, the media in the Bharat Empire became ecstatic. They spread the word that this was a golden opportunity for India to develop AI and replace China. Indian government officials repeatedly stated their intention to develop a native large language model and launch India's own deep seek. They also claimed that India possesses the world's largest reserve of AI talent, supported by investments from the Tata Group and Reliance Industries, along with government backing, ensuring India's rise as the next global AI hub. However, the protagonist of this story, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang, did not visit India, the supposed future center of global AI, to discuss the Bharat Empire's grand AI plans with Modi and Indian entrepreneurs. Instead, he urgently visited China to meet with Chinese government officials and DeepSeek CEO Wenfeng Liang to discuss collaborative research and development. He aimed to partner with Chinese domestic technology companies to design chips for the Chinese market that could bypass U.S. technology restrictions. Regardless of the final specific plan, it is clear that Jensen Huang is unwilling to abandon the massive Chinese market. In terms of scale, China is the second largest consumer market for AI chips after the U.S., accounting for 20% of NVIDIA's revenue. This figure does not even include the underground chips purchased by China through various smuggling channels. As NVIDIA's leader, Jensen Huang understands the importance of the Chinese market. It is not only a significant market for NVIDIA, but also a breeding ground for NVIDIA's potential competitors, particularly Huawei, a tech giant that leaves the U.S. government helpless and boasts deep technological expertise in AI. Jensen Huang has repeatedly stated that Huawei is NVIDIA's most important competitor. In fact, Huawei's Ascend series AI chips can already replace the special versions NVIDIA supplies to the Chinese market. After DeepSeek's release, domestic chip companies collaborated closely with DeepSeek, significantly improving the efficiency of the entire AI computing system, which caught Jensen Huang's serious attention. Following DeepSeek's release, NVIDIA's stock price faced multiple sharp declines. However, Jensen Huang publicly expressed his recognition and support for DeepSeek multiple times. He believes DeepSeek plays a crucial role in promoting the overall prosperity of the AI ecosystem and views DeepSeek as more of an opportunity for NVIDIA. Shortly after DeepSeek's release, NVIDIA launched DeepSeek's online service, demonstrating tangible support for the open source AI ecosystem. Its longtime rival, AMD, also integrated DeepSeek into Edge applications, capitalizing on the hype. NVIDIA dominates the AI market not only due to the absolute computing performance of its chips, which maintain a lead with TSMC's advanced processes, but also because of its early technological groundwork in building the CUDA ecosystem. However, DeepSeek, through optimizations at the underlying technology level, developed a highly efficient new architecture. This technology not only enables large AI models to utilize NVIDIA chip hardware performance more efficiently, but also significantly boosts the performance of other companies' chips. After DeepSeek's release, many so-called technical experts claim that DeepSeek could not bypass NVIDIA's CUDA. However, DeepSeek quickly integrated with domestic chips. And after optimization, the overall performance of Huawei's Ascend series chips and other domestic AI chips indeed saw substantial improvements. As one of the leading companies in the AI industry and the top supplier of computing infrastructure, NVIDIA and Jensen Huang clearly understand DeepSeek's significance to the chip industry and the entire AI ecosystem. Therefore, in addition to meeting Chinese officials and affirming his commitment to not abandoning the Chinese market, he pledged to increase investment and support. He also met with Wenfeng Liang, 
a highly low-profile young entrepreneur who almost entirely avoids media exposure except for important government meetings. Currently, DeepSeek has gained a solid foundation for development by exchanging technology for idle computing power from tech giants. It is also eager to strengthen its position as a leading open-source AI large model company through technical collaborations with chip giants. DeepSeek faces fierce competition from domestic giants like Alibaba and international players like Meta. Its greatest advantage lies in the massive recognition brought by the R1 version and the ecosystem support gained through pioneering high-intensity open sourcing. Through collaborations with chip companies like Huawei, AMD, and NVIDIA, DeepSeek can not only make strides in the field of large AI models, but may even launch co-developed chips with them. Deeply engaging in computing infrastructure and strengthening its position in the AI ecosystem. In contrast, the Bharat Empire's native AI large model remains confined to PowerPoint slides. Apart from serving as a source of self consolation for government officials and media during their boasts, it offers no practical value. In fact, India lags comprehensively in the entire AI industry with almost no notable achievements. In the chip sector, China has domestic chip design companies like Huawei, Alibaba, Cambercon, and Lungsin, as well as chip manufacturing firms like SMIC and NextChip. In operating systems, China has Harmony OS, Kylan OS, and Union Tech. In AI large models, China boasts world-leading models like DeepSeek, Huan, and Dobao, covering the entire AI industry chain and enabling comprehensive competition with the US. The Bharat Empire lacks a single modern chip design or manufacturing company, has no decent domestic operating system, and has no AI large model. The level of government and private investment in India is orders of magnitude lower than in China, placing them on entirely different levels. Under such circumstances, it is unclear why India believes it will become an AI powerhouse. Where does this strength lie? In making noise? If the competition is about boasting and generating noise, then the Bharat Empire is indeed the world's number one. As for the Bharat Empire's claim of having the world's most robust AI talent reserve, I find it hard to agree. Why have these AI talents failed to create a single globally renowned product? Or are they? like the Bharat Empire's officials, only good at talking on paper? In fact, it's not just in the AI field. In the electric vehicle sector, we often hear Indian officials boast about becoming a powerhouse in electric vehicles, claiming that Tesla will invest in building factories in India. Yet, to this day, Modi has not seen Musk arrive. A national leader being stood up by an entrepreneur is a colossal joke on the global stage. A country's influence in a specific field can be gauged by the frequency of visits from leading entrepreneurs in that industry. NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang, AMD's CEO Lisa Su, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk, and Apple's CEO Tim Cook frequently visit China because it is not only a critical market, but also an important research and development base. If generating noise determines who becomes a technology hub, then the Bharat Empire indeed has an unmatched advantage. Here, I'll bet a pack of spicy strips that, in the foreseeable future, India is unlikely to become an AI powerhouse.